Deep under the ocean off Japan's Okinawa Islands, scientists map coral beds. They're part of the 100 Islands program, charting and assessing the health of coral all over the world. Swimming back and forth along the reef, a scientist holds a camera to collect images of the entire plot. This is the result. This is a virtual reality. This is a reef. It's a three-dimensional reconstruction of a reef. These 3D models are created by stitching together the images recorded on site, but now computer software designers and engineers are going even further by creating the data, algorithms and tools that allow scientists to virtually explore and track reefs in the lab. Something we, we work on a lot is, is virtual access, this idea of providing access to sites uh, that are otherwise inaccessible or, or difficult to get to. Vid Petrovic says his work is only possible thanks to rapid development in the video game sector. We get to take advantage of, 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 of the just the ridiculously powerful hardware that exists because of games, the little you know, extra bits of benefit in, in, in terms of uh, you know, human interface devices and stuff like that that have been developed. Uh, and there are also a lot of the, the software techniques, the algorithmic techniques that are useful, but it turns out that, that, that we end up having to kind of change everything a little bit since the goal is, is slightly different. It means scientists are now able to measure the effects of coral bleaching as pollution and rising temperatures put the reef ecosystems at risk. We collect imagery that creates three-dimensional models of the coral reef that we revisit through time to watch individual corals live, die, grow and shrink. The 100 Island Challenge hopes to raise awareness about the importance of coral reefs. More than 500 million people depend on the diverse ecosystems for food and services.